Hi, Matthew from Syme here. There once was uh, an app called Aperture, and it still has many, many fans, including myself. And we still have sometimes uh, catalogs of older images that are still in that format. And by the way, at Syme, we have a great software to convert those archives. But if you don't want to do that, if you are fine with keeping those archives where they are, how can you see the content? So in this video, we're going to show you how Picto can be a great uh, replacement for Aperture in terms of viewing, searching, and organizing, even annotating content that you have in those archives. Uh, we're going to show you how you can navigate in multiple Aperture libraries at the same time and have a great experience on your Aperture libraries on the latest macOS releases. So if you're ready, let's get started. We often get that question asked on our forum, what to do with uh, old Aperture libraries? Should we convert them? Should we keep them? And as you can see in my own situation, I have lots of Aperture libraries. So first of all, uh, there are really two paths for, for Aperture. If you think that your library is frozen in time, you might as well keep it uh, as an archive. If on the other hand, you you want to continue work on it, we have a great tool to do, to help you convert those libraries um, into a new format to go to a new home, uh, a tool that's called Avalanche. I'm just going to show you how um, how it looks. I'm, I've just dragged a, a very small Aperture library here. If I hit on Convert, I can decide to move that library to a new home, whether it's Apple Photos, Capture One, Luminar, any flavor of it, Lightroom. I'm going to choose Lightroom. Um, I'm doing this because uh, this library is going to be useful uh, in the rest of this video. So I'm going to convert it. And um, Avalanche is transforming the uh, this old Aperture library into a new library that I open directly in Lightroom. And uh, the edits that I applied in uh, in Aperture are going to be converted. So here, for example, I, I made some changes uh, in the uh, white balance. Uh, some other images have some other types of edits, and and these edits have been have been applied here. As you can see, if I go to the develop panel, uh, those sliders have been moved by Avalanche to mimic how this library looked like in in Aperture. So that's the second pass. If I want to continue to work and maybe edit some images, I might decide to use Avalanche to convert that library. Now, back to Picto. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add that library that I just converted into, um, into Picto to see what's the experience. So it's processing the thumbnails, and it's going to run the AI after, after that. I, I don't need to wait for the AI to finish. I can uh, go into into those, uh, those thumbnails. So you can see these images that I just showed you in, in Lightroom, the way they were converted. Uh, this is how they looked, exactly how they looked in uh, in Aperture. An Aperture library in, uh, in Picto behaves like an Aperture library in Aperture in the sense that you have access to all the metadata of your images. So you have the EXIF, the IPTC, you can run searches, you can uh, of course access all the structure of your library. So for example, this one had a, a few projects, there were a number of albums. They behave uh, the way they behaved in, in Aperture. I can access my dates, I can access my keywords, I can access my people if I have any. So this is all working um, as it was in Aperture. So it's a great way to, to continue viewing and interacting with old content without necessarily converting it. What's great about to an aperture, like very useful in my case, is that I can, of course, add, combine many libraries together. So if I take, for example, just two more libraries here, as you can see, they are being added. So it's, it's the processing is uh, taking place here. Um, and soon I'll be able to, um, 
to run queries and to do things on all my content together. So that's a great way to aggregate and to consolidate all that content. So now all this content has been uh, uh, ingested, the AI is running, but I don't have to wait for the AI to finish. And I can access um, here in a combined view all my Aperture content in one view. So here is a mix of uh, a lot of different content taking over the years. So in my case, if I'm perfectly fine with the fact of keeping these libraries in the way they, they are, because I, I don't plan to do any any further edits in them, I can live with, uh, with that content in staying in Aperture and treat it as an archive uh, of high quality because uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the content is actually uh, has very high resolution previews. So I can zoom into, the, into the, that image, for example, and this is the, the preview that was generated by Aperture, which is of, of good quality and enough for me to, uh, to view the image. So this is Aperture inside um, of Picto. You get a very good viewing experience. You get all the search that you need. I can search by um, my content by any of the uh, of the IPTC or EXIF attributes that it had. So the locations, look for metadata about cameras, uh, etc. And of course, you get to access panorama for that content with the ability to view your files and your catalogs using uh, um, categories that have been automatically uh, detected. You can combine all your libraries into uh, into Picto if you don't need or don't want to uh, convert them to a new format. Picto will give you access to the best resolution previews that you had uh, in Aperture at the time it was uh, the library was saved. Um, you can view multiple libraries at once. Um, you can combine them in search and you can add them in albums. And if you want to continue editing some of your images, of course you can do it uh, using any of the tools that you have on your in your workspace or in your on your computer. So if for example, I want to edit this image in my Pixelmator Pro workspace, I can do so. Save it. And now I have a new image alongside the other versions that might exist. So this is a great way to um, continue working with older content, editing as you need, uh, content that lives in, uh, in those libraries and that I didn't convert. So in this video, we've covered how you can use Picto as a great uh, viewing tool for your Aperture libraries. Not only viewing, actually, because you can annotate, you can organize within Picto uh, all the content that you might want to keep as an archive. If, on the other hand, you want to convert that content uh, and make it more dynamic, uh, add it to uh, other types of catalogs, uh, don't forget that uh, we built Avalanche, for which there is a link up there which is a great tool to migrate all the Aperture libraries to a new home. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel if you want to get notified about new content that we publish. If you have any questions about uh, what you've seen and what we've covered in this video, use the uh, comments area below to ask your questions and you will get a reply. You can also ask for new content to be produced on specific subjects if you have uh, some ideas. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon on that channel. Take care. Bye-bye.